What's up, Facebook, YouTube? Today I want to talk to you about higher living and lower living. Now, it says in Isaiah 55, you know, in 8, I believe, it said, His thoughts are not our thoughts, neither his ways are our ways, you know, and it says, higher than the heavens above, you know, is how high God thought is, you know, <clears throat> and lower than the earth, you know, low as the low as the earth. But what we got to understand, y'all, heaven's a higher way of living, you know what I'm saying? It's about righteousness, peace, and joy, and the Holy Ghost. And in order to achieve this higher way of living, it's only through Jesus Christ, you know? But the thing is, you know, the problem is what makes our earth, like I keep saying, so attractive because we can see it, we rep beside it, we can touch it. We can feel it. We can. It works through our body senses. You know, it's comfortable with our body senses. That's what makes it so much, you know, powerful to enjoy. But heaven, look at heaven. Look at heaven. Heaven's so way up there. You know what I'm saying? And we can't get real near it. But by the Spirit, we can experience what's going on up in those clouds down here. But only through Jesus Christ. That is possible. Now, the thing is, people are trying to, you know, make you believe by your own ability you can perform in the standard of heaven. <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not happening. You know what I'm saying? We got to realize that, you know, heaven, you know, is a standard that is way higher than our earth. I mean, it's just naturally put together, you know. How you doing, sir? You know, it's just naturally put together. Naturally, see, look at the earth down here. The earth, way down here. And heaven is way up there. And heaven's, you know, is naturally looking at it. We know that he earth is down here and heaven's up here. It's just a different standard of living. And the thing is, you know, we got to come to a place that we got to understand that Jesus purchased something so great for us on the cross that, you know, it's worth, you know, worth risking our, you know, our flesh or worth, worth what's, you know, tangible down below, you know what I'm saying, that we're experiencing then up there, you know. And the problem is, you know, people are not understanding or not trying to understand that reality. Now, you can't figure out that reality with your carnal mind, you know. Your carnal mind going to keep reminding you about, you know, what's going on and what's, what's going on in the earth, what pleasures in the earth, what, you know, desires in your earth. They're going to remind you of your desires of this earth and going to add more reasons for want, you wanting to seek after the earth. Your carnal mind going to do that. But you got to get in the spirit, you know. You got to start humbling yourself, start being meek, and, and listen to words and meditate on them. I mean, you know, the thing is, meditate on the word of God that's been given to you and, and allow it to change you, you know. And it's, a, it's the process, of course, I'm going to keep telling you. No magic wands here, no tinker bells. It's a process because, but during the process of the transformation, that's when you, I tell people, it's an adventure, you know what I'm saying? It's a treasure hunt. It's going to be difficult, you know? Like, you know, I say, Indiana Jones, you know, he had to go through the boulders. He had to go through the booby traps. He had to go through all kind of craziness to obtain a treasure. And guess what? Look at heaven. Look how beautiful heaven is. Look at that, y'all. That, that looked like a wonderful treasure, y'all. Come on, somebody. Y'all should see that wonderful treasure. Understand, come on. It deserves a, a, a sacrifice, you know, to get up there. And, you know, little by little, you can learn the sacrifice. How you doing, sir? You can learn little by little the sacrifice that, you know, that is there. You know, that's what the scriptures taught to say, little by little, just like Isaiah said, that you can obtain such a great thing inside you, you know, you know, by the power of the Holy Ghost, you know, it's attainable. So we got to understand that, you know what I'm saying? We're playing for something greater, you know, and the thing is, greater is at our reach. And like, you, like the scriptures say, John says, greater is he that is in me than he that's in the world. But we have to be patient and work the process slowly but surely 
you know what I'm saying, and doing, you know, the little things, you know, thanking God for waking me up this morning, telling, sharing people about what God has done for them, you know what I'm saying, and when you start there, that's a good place to start. I mean, it's not really all about, you know, you're going to go live right, doing right. No, just, you know, thank God for waking me up this morning and share people that, you know, I thank God, God gave me life, health and strength and did so much for me. That is a great, you know, you know, foundation to build your, you know, true Christian walk with, you know, thanking God, giving thanks, thanksgiving, you know, and that let God take it from there and continue that. And I guarantee, you know what I'm saying, it will elevate you to a place where you can experience this beautiful place that we're seeing up here, right here, that beautiful place called heaven, you know? So understand that, you know? All right, I'm done talking, walking around in the spirit, just sharing you what God be giving to me, you know, while I'm walking in the spirit. I love it. I hope you, you know, love it too. So to God be the glory to him forever and ever in Jesus' name, amen. Heaven's in my mind, baby. Heaven's in my rear, in my front view. World is in my back view.